The title of this series will be called Juicy Sundays. This is Season 1, Episode 1. Please remember to watch the entire video. Please like, comment, and share this video if you like the content. You can leave a heart in the comments. Now prepare your teeth for laughter and entertainment. If you don't have teeth, it's okay to use gums. Just make sure they are not yellow like the fellow who feeds on Jello. Now today is a wonderful day in the projects. While Grandma is creating her cornbread, collard greens with stew pork, Grandpa is somewhere eating dinner at another table. Either it's under the table or above the table but for sure, some eating was taking place. He earlier left to go get rice for the Sunday meal, but instead of just the rice he always got the spice to let him feel nice. However, it was a regular routine for us as the grandchildren to go find him since he always got lost. When he was found, he was normally by jeans or some other houses who were always grandma's friends or church sisters. Ironically, never males. He said he was fixing the pipe under her sink when, in fact, he was actually laying some pipes. He was a real plumber, or he was watering her garden with some imaginary hose. We would always get some Cocoa Pop candies as an attempt to buy our silence. Me, my brother, and cousins used to be happy when this happened. When he finally got home, we would be quiet and watch the malice for a few hours. Later that evening Jean would come by the house to have a second dinner, as that's grandma's best friend. They were closer than sisters, they would tell jokes and laugh. Her grandchildren used to be our best friends too. Girl you go above and beyond for Willie. While whispering under her breath, sweet D Willie, I hope that he never leaves you, while winking behind her back. We would laugh as her gray hair and eyebrows were salt and pepper and never straight. She used to always wear her 1920s wigs with her lipstick being red. Her dental would always fall out if she laughed too hard. Now, because she didn't want us to talk about the pipe situations, she would try to laugh with us, resulting in more humor. Grandma used to rush us and say, Go around the back as you don't see grown folk talking. But we used to listen on our knees through the door cracks. Girl, I got a new man. We finna go out on a date on my birthday. Girl, do you still remember your birthday? Joshua, come here. We all knew what that would mean. As the eldest, Joshua would take the whooping for all of us. It used to be great because we would laugh even more knowing there wouldn't be any consequences. Grandma and Jean's conversation would get so intense to the point where Jean would ask, what size shoe does Willie wear? Smiling, he wears size 11. No, it's about size 12. What? I was just assuming, ha 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 ha. How would you tell me, man? What? S3, he's good. Again, I mean, he is a good man. The conversation gets more interesting. Join me next week for part two as it gets more juicier. Again, then Gene would joke it off again saying, I mean he is a good man. The conversation gets more interesting. Join me next week for part two as it gets more juicier.